Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer. And I'm Keepy83. And today we have some dolls that are not exactly brand new to toy shelves, but they're rarely seen on the, on the shelves around our house. So we're going to talk about Pretty Girls today. Tween Scene is the series. Pretty Girls are from One World Doll Company. By, they were That's a company that was started by Stacy McBride, I think her last name is, who was the creator of this S. I S so in style Mattel mm -hmm. Barbie dolls. Um, she moved from Mattel. She started One World, and then we saw some one six scale dolls from her. And then re later she released these guys, who are a little bit bigger and pretty awesome. Uh, you may have heard of One World if you're a Tonner collector. Apparently, earlier like January 2016, Tonner and One World merged. Somehow, apparently, they announced this huge thing. There's a video on the website that talks about it. Um, they announced that they were going to be doing some other different lines. Nothing really happened throughout the year. Both companies seem to be, like, radio silent on their futures and their 2017 lines. So I have no idea what's going on with this. And there's <laughs> um, the stock exchange. It shows it, but it shows it as zero. So it's like it doesn't really exist? Yeah. Something so weird? Something's going on. I'm not quite sure. But these were made by, um, in collaboration pretty much with uh, Tonner. And you will recognize you will them that. from Tonner because if you look at Maudlin, she looks similar. Her body is pretty much the same. It is the same. <laughs> and? And then we have a little mismatched girl. Those are, uh, Madeline and her are both from Tonner Toys. They came out about a year or two earlier than the Pretty Girls. They have and the same body. Same body. Same look to their faces. Very similar looks, at least. Uh, and they're pretty much, they're identical in, in many, many cases. <laughs> so... So she has <laughs> friends! Lots of friends! Exactly. So if you liked Madeline or you like the Little Mismatch Girl, you'll want to take a peek at the Pretty Girls because they make really good companions for those two. Mm -hmm. So all the weird drama between One World and Tanner aside, we are going to talk about Pretty Girls. So tell everyone how we came across these particular dolls. Well, I was keeping track on Facebook of the, all the lovely groups of doll collectors out there, and they kept mentioning that Walmart had lots of clearance sales going on. And whenever we go to Walmart, the clearance sale price is the same. It's always this really high price, and you're like, is that a clearance price? <laughs> so today we went, decided we would go and look at the shelves because we haven't been in Walmart for a while. And they were putting new numbers on their clearance. They were literally in the aisle putting numbers on it. And, and, and these dolls were really cheap. Yes. Really. Super affordable. They were three dollars. And one, one, <laughs> one of them was marked at a dollar. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't I wanted to say, well, this is the same type of doll, why don't you take those down to a dollar too? But I figured I'd better get out of there before they realize they made some kind of a <laughs> terrible mistake or something. <laughs> yeah, so for like the three dolls here, it costs us five dollars. Yeah, so can you insane. see it? I mean, she's got really good tight joints. She has bendable knees. She's got flat feet. Yes, she's got flat feet, but they're nice feet. Yeah. Um, Who is that one again? This is Valencia. Valencia. She's the sporty girl. So these are made to be diverse. The name Pretty Girls is spelled P-R-E-T-T-I-E -T -T -E for pretty, and um, they gave an attribute, a, a, a word for each of them. So it's positive, respectful, enthusiastic, truthful, talented, inspiring, and excellent. That's what these dolls stand for. And... So that's Valencia. This is Valencia. And um, each doll comes with an extra shirt. Ooh, that's flashy. It says PG Power, Pretty Girl Power. Ah, get it? I do get so it. So she can go wear that Cute. and she'll have something to wear with her, her I don't know pants. if it matches those pants. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it doesn't. I mean, I that one looks kind of weird too, though. So, I don't know. Yeah. So, this is Lena. Lena? Lena. Hi, Lena. Right. Yeah. Lena? Lena. Yes. 
So this is Lena. Lena is uh, pretty because she is smart. So says her box, just like she is pretty because she's sporty. Mm -hmm. um, so Lena is the smart one. She has super long, nice straight hair here. I love the outfit on this one. The outfit is super colorful. It's cute. I love the red and the oranges and the blues together. It's just a really fun outfit. And she has cute shoes. I love her hair. It's just a straight, simple style that's pretty. Yeah, and she has a cute face too. Her face is really nice. Okay, the one thing that, only one thing that bugs me about these dolls, and it's if they're far away, it doesn't bug me, but it's the same as her. Um, Tonner puts the white little reflection spot right there, and if you look at her really close, you're like, why does she have a white spot on her eyes? <laughs> I can but, see that. But if you do it far away, you don't notice it as mm -hmm. much. So it adds Tonner's style. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So Lena's extra outfits uh, is this blue sweater, which would probably go like that, and it would look kind of cute over this look, and a jean purse here. Um, also really nice is that they can stand pretty much on their own because their shoes are really nice and their joints are really nice and they're all completely vinyl. Uh, and we can talk a little bit about their their bodies after the this next introduction and, here. And Valencia has a backpack that come, she comes with too. And then this is the other girl, Kamani. So Kamani is... Um, she is pretty because she's creative. That's her thing. She's creative. Um, she has curly hair. Mm -hmm. Lots of nice curly hair as well. Uh, I like it. I think it looks really good. She has a side ponytail. I don't see there's. I don't see much different in the actual face molds of these two Oops. dolls. I think that to me the face mold it looks similar to each other. Even like the colors they use for like her eyeshadow are the same shade of teal blue is she taller or is that just her boots her boots make her seem taller, taller yeah because if you put them all together so it's her boots that are making her seem taller okay uh this is a different a slightly different shade of hair this is a little browner than this tone right here but i do love her outfit i think her outfit's fantastic it's cool it's colorful i love the pants and the galoshes the shoes down here they make her stand wonderfully so they're really awesome. And she has she has different lip color. She has different lip what color. What about the skin? Uh, Kamani's skin is darker, darker She's than darker. Lena's yeah. skin. Right. The the shadow they use on both their eyes is the same teal turquoisey shadow. Oh. But okay. they do have different eye colors as well. So most of their fa their face paint is different, but there's that one similarity. And she comes with a cute little top here and a yellow purse. So these are the three pretty girls that we had at our store. There are a few more in the line, um, but these were the ones that we got. Apparently they six they came to Walmart and that's where they were being sold, through Walmart only. It was mm -hmm. like a big, big deal. Yeah. Um, it, it shows them still on walmart.com and it shows them at their regular rollover prices. And apparently there are clothes that go with them too. So you might want to check your local Walmart and see if they're in their clearance yeah. aisle and if maybe they had the fashions because I never saw these dolls on the aisles. She did once. Once. It wasn't a lot though. Yeah. And uh, we should mention she does have a chest plate so she can mm -hmm. they can twist and turn to your heart's content. They can sit like a Just normal like person would. So they can sit down, can do a little bendy knee. So they have nice jointing for this size doll. And they just need a different, they need a wrist joint. That's the only thing. And I had that problem with modeling too. She needs a wrist joint. <laughs> but I like them. They're a solid doll. They totally are. It's, and it's a nice it's, vinyl. It's a good hand. It's, yeah, it's a quality doll. It's really nice. Originally, what did we say they were? $23 or so. Yeah. $23, it takes me a lot longer to buy a doll, but for $3 and a dollar, <laughs> I'm right there. Yeah, but these are nice quality dolls, so if you see them, you may want to take an extra peek at them. Save them for Christmas if, you know, they're not your style. Maybe you know someone that they that they would be adored by. But totally great. If you have Tanner's, Tanner Toys, uh, Little Miss Match, or Model and Macabre, these are fantastic addi additions to your collection. And um, there's a poster on the inside. Don't go to the website on the poster. It does it's, not work anymore. It did not work when I tried it, so. 
So, so you'll want for more information to go to Town or One World. They will have information on this line. Um, if the video we mentioned earlier is on there talking about the merger thing. Uh, and also there is a picture of New York City tween scene, which was so they would be the same size as this, but it was a whole second series kind of deal, which has not been heard of as of yet. So we'll see if something comes out of Toy Fair about those guys. And if you go to that website also under each individual doll, it shows you the things they love. Um, their favorite loves, their most embarrassing moment, their favorite color, their favorite subject, their favorite thing, um, their motto, um, their favorite childhood moment. Yeah. So that's a little bit about tween scene pretty girls from One World. And we, I think that's it, right? Did we miss anything? Is there anything No, we we're just mention? missing a few dolls, but yeah. that's okay. We'll so, find out. Yeah, now we have to. <laughs> now it's on. So that's it. I really like them, yeah. And I love the pigtails on her. So let us know what you think in the comment area. Have you seen any of these at your local Walmart? Did you see them on clearance? What do you think of the line? Let us know in the comments. And I guess we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.